Hey guys, this is Scott of the Science Duo. In this video, I want to show you how to assign a Google form to your students with one of our science stations. And I also want to show you a little bit about what's included on that Google form and the modifications, changes, anything that you want to do to those forms. So the first thing that you're going to notice when you open up the files is that there's going to be a file titled Google Form Link, and that's what we're looking at right here. When you open that up, if you wanted to assign anything digitally in our science stations to your students, you could pull this up and go through the directions that I'm going to show you right now. So what we're looking at is the Google Form direction sheet. There's a couple of things up at the top that I want to point out. You're watching this video right now, Google Form video. There's also a tutorial for students. You could send this video to students and it's going to show them basically um, everything that they're supposed to do on their end in order to complete everything the way that you want them to. So the very first thing that you're going to want to do after that, if you want to modify um, the Google form, is you're going to click right here. Click here to open the Google form. When you click there, it's going to pull up this right here. Okay, and it's going to say copy document. Would you like to make a copy of layers of the earth science stations? That's the one that I want right now. So I'm going to click make a copy. And what that's going to do is it's going to copy it to your Google Drive. Okay, this message may pop up. You can just click restore. And that's going to make sure that the folders and everything are there for you to um, save your students work. So I clicked make a copy. It's going to automatically put up here copy of at the beginning of the title. We recommend go ahead and taking that off, deleting that, and then Im immediately after that, clicking on this folder icon and saving that or um, reorganizing that into your files so that you can find that easily. Um, then basically it's up to you. We're going to scroll down through here and you can modify, change anything you want. You can add sections, you can delete sections. If you're familiar with our science stations, or if you're not, each letter of the word science stands for something that the students are going to do. So I'm going to quickly walk you through um, exactly what you could have your students do. So the first thing you see here is um, the student's first, last name, email address, class period. Of course, you can modify all of that if you'd like um, to suit your needs. Then you're going to get right into the first station. That's a summarized station. Students are going to read this article that we provided on Layers of the Earth. And after they read the article, they're going to write a brief summary in their own words of what they learned or some cool facts or um, anything at all that they feel like summarizes the article the best. I'm going to go ahead and type that in right there. If you want to change the directions up here, you can. You can have them do something super specific if you want. Um, just by clicking in there and changing it up a little bit, however you want to do that. You could even add questions at the bottom if you want it. The second station is the create station. And what students are supposed to do here is they're supposed to take the topic, layers of the earth, and they're going to select three to five concepts that relate to that topic and write and draw them on a sheet of paper. Um, if they're super creative, they could uh, created in, on the computer in Paint or in another program. And then they're going to add that file um, so that you can have that, you can see that. So if they're doing it on a sheet of paper, the easiest thing to do would be draw it out. They can write words, phrases, diagrams, pictures, however they want to do that. Anything that relates to layers of the earth that they know. It's kind of like a little graffiti wall. And then they can take a picture of that and they can upload it to that file right there. The next station is the interpret station. At the interpret station, we use charts and graphs and diagrams. So on this one, there's a um, little data table about four layers, layer A, B, C, D, and a little information about each one. Students are going to use that information to answer the questions below. I believe there's five or six of them. Yep, six. And um, kind of just be as specific as possible. Again, you can add or change any of the questions that you want directly on this form before you send it to your students. The next station is probably going to be the most tricky to do digitally. You know, we would like everything to be used or to be possibly used digitally if you wanted to, but the experiment station may be the only one 
that you have a little bit of trouble with, there's a few options. You could just leave the form like this and say, hey, you know, you should have some of this stuff at home. Go ahead and complete that. That's if, you know, the, to the best of your ability to your students. That may be a little tricky for some of them, though. Um, if you're doing this in class, of course, you could have the materials there for your students. They could just come to this section here and they could get started. Um, if you're doing it with distance learning, like we said a minute ago, you could do this on a Zoom with your students. So you could model it while they work along. Or you could even record yourself doing some of these if they require uh, really specific materials or lab equipment that students wouldn't have at home. You could model it and then upload the video. Students could watch that video. They could read through the procedure so they know what you're doing. And then they would still be able to answer the questions at the bottom and um, complete everything else that you wanted them to. So the most ideal situation is that kids are in school and they're able to do this, but if not, you could still find a solution to have them do this. And if you say, and I'm just, I just totally want to skip the experiment. It's just too tricky, this one for my students, or we don't have the materials that we need. You can go ahead, you can just delete this entire section off of here. Um, so that's possible to do that too. And you could tell your students just omit that. Um, we don't really want to do that, but if we had to, that's, that's a possible solution to that. The next station is the navigate station. The navigate station is kind of like a mini circuit um, where students are given a set of cards, usually between like eight and 16 cards or so. This one, there's eight. And these are all randomly scattered. We've snipped them and we put them onto a sheet and they're completely out of order. The only one that is in the correct order is the first one. It has the word start on it. So this is where students are going to begin. And the, the thought behind this is basically practicing questions that go along with the topic or, or specifically looking at vocabulary, building vocabulary. So students are going to read the question or the statement or the definition that's on the start card, and they're going to find the word that matches that definition or that answers that, okay? So this is the first card. They're going to find the next one, wherever it may be, and that's going to be their next card. So it's kind of going to lead them in a certain pattern, and they just need to remember or write down the pattern that they went in. Because once they have that pattern, and they've used all the cards with the correct answers, they're going to answer this little question right here. How does Earth's mantle find out what happens on Earth's surface? It reads, and it's going to give them, they're going to have a word, like a code to type in there. So here's the way it works. What, you know, they started with the start card, then they had some order they went in. Well, whatever order they go in, there's a letter in the corner here. So if this was the first card, the first letter to their answer is going to be M. And then the next letter is going to be whatever the next answer was, whatever corner, whatever the letter was in the corner. And after they've gone through those in order and they've used all those letters, it's going to spell the answer. Some of those are going to be single words. Some are going to be three or four word phrases. But if they do it correctly, it should be something that answers this riddle and makes sense. Okay, so it's like a little mini circuit. All the cards have to be used. And once they're in the right order, it will answer this question. So that's kind of cool. The next station is the challenge station. Challenge station uses boom cards. We have included the boom cards for free that you need for this station. And we have another video that we want you to watch. It is also included in the files. Watch that video and we'll explain exactly how to assign the cards to your students and assign a pin number to them so that they can complete the station, okay? Students are gonna follow the link that's here. They're gonna do those cards based on the pen and the ones that you assign to them, and they're gonna answer these questions. So on the boom cards, question one will have, it, it'll have a question, and one of the answer to that question will be one of the layers here, crust, mantle, outer core, inner core. And they'll have 12 of them that they'll have to do that with. Okay, again, we have a video made for that in the folder um, for you to be able to assign a pen and 
the boom cards to the students for the challenge station. So go ahead and check that out. Then we have the extend station. Super simple here. Um, there's a question or two or a statement, something that students have to apply their knowledge of this topic. So this one's why is it important for geologists to study the layers of the earth? And students need to write their answer there. Um, you know, there's there's tons of reasons why that would be important, but they need to kind of write a few sentences. And again, you can be more specific with exactly how many sentences or statements you want them to write there. And then the very last thing, I think this is really important. Um, it's a student reflection section. You know, it's good for students to go, to go back and to truthfully answer how well they understand these topics. So this section, I would I would stress to students that you're not grading this section. These you want honest feedback here. Like, what did you understand? What are you struggling with? What steps do you need to take in order to improve your understanding? So kind of putting the responsibility on students, you know, having them be honest with themselves, and then they rank themselves on a zero to ten scale. Zero would be they're totally confused. They have no clue what they just did. Hopefully nobody will. <laughs> hopefully nobody will say that. And then ten is I totally get it, and um, you know I'm ready to move on. This was this was a breeze. Okay, so that's the last part there. Once you have everything modified that you the way that you want it to be to send to your students, you can um, go ahead and click. Sorry, up here. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm clicking on the wrong things. The gear. There we go. Okay, click right there. Then um, again, you can edit all of this however you want to do it. And you can change it to a quiz if you'd like. All right, sorry. OK, so then you would click. I'm just showing you here. You could change it to any other options you want to show there. All right, so I'm going to click Send. And then I'm going to click on the paper clip. Or it's a it's a link actually, and I'm going to shorten this URL. It's going to look just like that. That's the link that I'm going to send to my students, and um, I can assign that via Google Classroom, any other learning management system, or email. However, I want to do that. Copy it, send it to students, and they're going to see this. Okay, so they're going to go section by section. So first thing is that. That first part that we had there where they're going to put their information. And again, you can change all these to be required if you want. Um, and then they're going to just go section by section. Summarize. There it is. All right. Pretty simple. So uh, we hope you like this uh, tutorial video. And um, please let us know if you have any questions. You can reach us at thescienceduo at gmail.com. Take care.